Okay, welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to solve this absolute value equation. Here we have the absolute value of negative 10k minus 1 equals 79. So what I want to do when I'm solving absolute value equations, there's a couple things I need to make sure of. First of all, I need to make sure that my absolute value equation or um, expression is isolated on one side of the equation. And the reason being is the whole reason why we have absolute value. Remember, if I was going to take you know, the absolute value of, I don't know, let's, um, absolute value of x, like I said, if it equals you know, 3, well, we know that my answer, actually, let me just pick it this way. If I have the absolute value of x, I know that that answer is going to be either x or the value, absolute value of x also equals negative x. So therefore, I have you know, two different answers that I could possibly have. I have a positive and I have a negative answer. So when we're doing absolute value, we want to prepare ourselves for that. And what we do is we set our answer to a positive and a negative to be able to solve for what our missing value is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two separate cases. First case is the positive value. And the second case is the negative value or the opposite value, I should say. Okay, so now I've set up two separate cases where I have the opposite values for my, uh, not for my answer, but my other side of my equation. Now I'm gonna need to solve for my k to find my two values. So on this first part, I'm gonna add one. Therefore I have a negative 10k equals 80. Now, I need to um, undo division, or I'm sorry, undo multiplication of k by a negative 10 and divide negative 10 on both sides. When I divide uh, 10, negative 10 divided by 10, that cancels out to 1. 1 times k just leaves me with k. 8, 80 divided by negative 10 is going to give me negative 8. Uh, the next one, here to solve for 1, I need to isolate my k. So the first thing I'm going to do is undo addition and subtraction. So I need to undo my subtraction of 1. So I'll add 1 to both sides. So therefore, I obtain negative 10k equals a negative 78. Now, again, I need to undo multiplication by negative 10 like I did in this previous problem. So to do that, I'll divide by negative 10. And I get k equals a positive 7.8. And therefore, what I notice is Oops. Well, I should keep it as a fraction, shall I? Um, therefore, I leave it. I'll leave the 7.8. But well, let me actually just give you the fraction representation because that's what I'm so used to. Um, also, 70, 78 divided by 10 can be reduced to 39 over 5. So you can either have your decimal version or the fraction, um, you know, more an exact maybe answer, uh, is 39 over 5. So therefore, what you're going to see is there is two solutions with our absolute value equation, just like I previously spoke about. So that's your absolute values.